How's it going? This is Mitch with the Native Survival School. Today I'm out on my porch, just fine tuning my accuracy with my bow. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got him that time. Nice! Got him. It was a fun game. Don't mind the mess, this is just my, uh, my porch. It's a bunch of gear I use to teach classes. It's my loom tarp and my Dutch oven, wool blanket, you know, my teaching board, things like that. Good times. I beat these guys up pretty good. Shot them quite a few times. It's fun. They're really small targets. They're cheap. They're plastic, so they explode sometimes. So they're fun to shoot. Sometimes I aim for really small parts of them, like just their heads or just the string holding them. That's really fun. I've brushed the string a few times. Quite a few times, actually. I've yet to break it. I'm about six yards. Ah, right, moving target. Nice. Got him. Well, he got pushed off from the rope. He's hanging off to the side. And I'll go after his buddy on the other side. <laughs> Love it. Brushed him. Close. Close. See if I can weave one right in there. Ah. Touch the rope. No dice. It's really fun when you hit them and you hit pieces spray <laughs> because they just eviscerate. This one's hurting. Half his platform's gone, his arm is gone, and all sorts of stuff. I like going after the khaki one for some reason. That's just my phone. It's, uh, it's my buddy Bruce. Text to me. I'm showing pics. <laughs> All right, it's going for another, another round. Oh boy, next to it. Shooting at such a small target really dials down the accuracy on the bow. Trying to get through that arrow. Got deflected by the other arrow. It's laying 
right in right in my path. I'll have to go for the other guy. Nice. Smashed him. One arrow left. See, shoot my bear Montana. Oh, wow. Touched his foot. Look at that. Bottom left corner. <laughs> uh, he lives another day. Yeah, so here's my target cube. So how I have it rigged up, I just have it surrounded by boxes just in case I miss. Right above, I have a piece of bank line. Just going to the wall, you know, each side. Right here. And I have taut line hitch tied to it. That allows me to tighten it or loosen it, which changes the height. So I can move them up or not. Move them down, move them up, whatever I want to do. And the taut line hitch also creates the ability to slide them around change their location so I can put them anywhere I want on my target to have them hanging higher lower left right you know I get bored of shooting at the smallest circles and stuff this is a smaller target you know these targets are really small that's what I'm looking at. That's six yards. Just this thin little nugget, you know? <laughs> but they're, they're really fun to shoot. They're really fun to shoot. Like I said, sometimes I aim just for the head. Sometimes I aim to cut the string. And I've brushed it a few times, but I've yet to put a practice point precisely in the middle of the weave to cut it I mean it's got to be perfect because that string doesn't have any tension I could cut string if there's tension on each side all I have to do is cut through it just go right through you know just even if I just fray it it will break if there's tension but if it's one side's loose I mean you gotta pin it straight in it to be so perfect that you put the rope directly in and with a practice point it's not a flat a flat, you know, wad buster. It's not a flat head hitting. It's a, it's a, um, a bevel. You know, it's, it's got a point. So, that's really challenging. I'm looking forward to the day that I cut the string, the bank line. Yeah. So give it a shot if you want to try to do something cool, make a little sub game within your target instead of just shooting at the paint. If you want to shoot at something fun that can move, you can move around, that can swing at the wind, things like that. Those little army men are like. Seriously, a hundred of them for like a dollar. So, uh, can't really beat that. Be sure to check out our website, nasalive.com, and as always, enjoy the outdoors, even if you're doing outdoor things indoors. <laughs>